Hi, I'm here at New Life Scientific's uh, tech shop, and today we have an automated continuous operation rotary evaporator. It's by, made by Jensor Scientific, and what's unique about this is that they have a patent on a floating rotating flask that allows for the continuous operation. And I'm going to move up here and explain it a little bit, and you can see the emblem there. But you can see the arm goes back into the control box back there. But what that does is that arm is actually measuring the height of the flask in the bath. So if the flask is empty, it knows it by the weight, because otherwise it would sink down further into the water bath. So if, if it's empty, then it automatically will pull more of the solution into the flask. And you can see down in there, it has um, a tube that pulls out and a tube that fills the flask. And we've just temporarily put a bucket down here because we're actually pulling out of and dumping into the bucket. So we've set some values in the machine and it's turned on and um, running. We haven't turned it completely on until we get, I'll show you in a second, but um, also I want to mention about the, the bath here. It has a sensor right there you can see and it's just monitoring the level of the water in the bath. So if the bath were to get a little low and uh, need more water, it would actually open the valve and automatically fill it back up to the desired level. That way you always maintain the level in your bath because it's very important to maintain that with the flask um, being measured off the arm back here in the control panel back there and then also you can see the tower here where it houses the coil and that's where the fluids from your chiller just continuously flow through it um, the chiller is down underneath here um, very large chiller um, it has no problem keeping up we've tested it um, to the specs and along with the bath we've tested it to spec too and you can see a little bit of condensation on the bottom there of the coil dripping. And this coil right now is filled um, clear up. It just continually circulates. And as the vapors come through the trap here, you can see, and they go in here and they come up and then they build against the coil and then condensation develops and then it drips down all the way to the bottom here. And then it actually filters it. Let me get over here. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually some water laying on top of the filter. It filters it somewhat, and then it comes into the bottom um, glassware here, clear down to the bottom where you see the hose coming out, and then that's where it would actually drain. And then it knows when it needs to drain because of this sensor over here. So if it was filled up to that point, then it would actually open the valve and drain, drain that down to a point where it was below the sensor, and then it would continue on evaporating just non-stop. This is made to just continually run and uh, once you set your parameters on the control panel over here, we actually have an extra control panel that we're giving with this too, just for our parts in case you need any parts off of it. But the bottom one is the one we're actually running on this system. So you can see in the screen here, all the parameters that are set right now and off to the left, you have all your settings that you can actually change where it says the dump step cycles, vapor temp, vacuum, uh, product quantity, end quantity, water bath temp, and then the flash speed. And you can set all those values by just simply hitting the command key that's uh, designated there. And then it sets over here. And we're going to show you a little bit um, what you can do. And what are we going to do, Steve? Steve's my assistant here. Oh. He's the one that's tackled this thing. Oh, let's go ahead and set the uh, the vapor pressure down a little bit. We're running in 60. You might want to run that at a slightly uh, lower value. Uh, you press the letter T. It enters into the uh, max vapor pressure temperature setting. We're going to set it at 40. Press enter. Screen refreshes. That, that, when we press the start, uh, that is the setting you want to use. You set all your settings that way. Um, if you want, you need a warmer bath temperature. This one supports up to 60 degree bath temperature. Capital T takes you into the, the bath tap. Set it up to a 60 degree mark. Again, when you're ready to run, so that's the setting it's going to use. It seems pretty simple to me. Um, can we go ahead and hit the run button and see what happens? That's just that's the S key. No enter required at that, and the system will start. And so we're doing some tests on itself. Well, I heard something kick on. I think that was our vacuum pump down here. This is our vacuum pump, however, um, we just hooked it up to this system. It's evacuating the system. And here I hear the chiller kicking on also. And it's 
it's going to drop to the temperature down. And this circulating in the foil, I can see fairly, um, right there I see a little bubble bit. It's just getting all the values set at this point. So the water bath has to reach that temperature. Um, the foil needs to reach its temperature through the chilling process. The chiller just kicked off, so it's must have reached. And it's went down there, looks like. The circulating pump, however, is still running. So it's continually running the, the chilling water through the coil here. But it just continually runs. If it, like I said, if it needs solution, it will detect it. It'll pour more, pull more solution in. And you can see right now it's loading. And we're, like I said, we're just pulling it from the bucket down there and it stopped. And there you have it, a continuous evaporation system. You set your parameters and you walk away. And this is for high volume of dissolution of, of um, not water like we're using, but um, solvents. Yeah, I forgot the word. There you have it. If you got any questions, be sure to give us a call. Again, this is New Life Scientific. And this is the Genzer Power Map. Thank you for watching.